Welcome to Dummy's Gator Main Assembly, where we look at tips and tricks that can help you take your creations to the next level. In Main Assembly, you're not only limited to building robots, so let's jump into world building and I will show you what you can do. Main Assembly's world building can be used in any of our sandbox maps and you access it by simply clicking N. To find all the building blocks that you can use, you simply click Tab, just as when you browse the catalog for building your bot. In here, you have categories like pump track, race track, with different categories like ramps, loops. You have different kinds of obstacles for obstacle courses, sideboards if you want to build some kind of hockey rink or, or something like that. You have some beams to build some very advanced uh, playgrounds, you have railways, uh, material blocks and some extra stuff for just pimping out your, your world. And up here in the top you have a category called levels. In here you can obviously save your level or you can click the map and you can load any existing level that you have. You can also use Steam Workshop if you want to do that. We want to make a new level so let's click new level, discard the one I had and let's start building. So here are some basic functionalities that you need to know about. Placing a block is as simple as left clicking. You can select anything from the catalog um, and place that piece by just left clicking anywhere you want. It's quick and easy to rotate the piece by just using your scroll wheel. And when you place the block you can tweak its position by clicking and holding and dragging it around. You can also at any time click a handle and get this gizmo where you can either use the arrows to move it in any direction or you can click it and use the rotation to rotate it in any axis that you want. Middle mouse button can be used to clone an object. So I can middle mouse click this object, I get it in my hand and I can then place it like this. As you see, they will try to snap together if you want to or you can just place it wherever you want. For easy building, the handles here, they snap together. So click and drag that and it will automatically try to snap it to the closest handle to you. Uh, you can also use these uh, handles, uh, the face handles, to align them with another handle like that. And all of this obviously works with multi-select as well. So you can select this, hold shift on your keyboard and then click whichever pieces you want. And the handle that you middle mouse click will be the handle that you grab this with. So I can grab this, get everything. I can rotate it like that and snap it to that one if I want. At some point you might want to flip the piece you're about to place. This is easily done by pressing F. If you're not happy with what you built, you can obviously just delete by hovering and hitting delete on your keyboard. Let's delete all of these and see if we can actually build something more useful. Right, so let's see what we want to build. I'm gonna start with some race track stuff. Let's place a ramp. And I click this handle and I move it down just to make sure that my bot can drive up it. At any time, you can press B, spawn your, your bot you have and try out your world building. So it's a completely seamless transition between uh, building your bot or building in world building. Alright, I think that's it for this track. We have some kind of hybrid racetrack obstacle course. It's gonna be very difficult, I think. Uh, some speed driving on this, and uh, then this tricky braking, balancing up on uh, this, uh, whatever it's called, balance thingies. Try to make the loop 
to jump over these sewer pipes. That's gonna be very difficult with my pretty long vehicle. And then uh, take these turns around here and then a tricky slow section where we go left side, right side, left side, right side and then past the goal line. So let's spawn in and uh, see if we can get around alive. Here we go in three, two, one, let's go. Pick up a lot of speed here so we can fly into this left hand back corner NASCAR style. Make sure we brake nice and early before this downhill here so that we don't lose control before this balance board. Get nice and tidy over there and then hit the throttle to make the loop. See if we can actually make this. And we did. Not very nice, but nice. Take the skate park, don't fall off. And then I said, yes, left. Oh, slow, tricky. Left, right, left again, and right, and then full throttle across the finish line. So that was a 36 seconds, 99 hundredths of a second. Not too bad. See if you can beat it when I upload this level. And I almost forgot I need to save this level. Hitting tab, go up to the levels tab, and then you use these two to take two nice uh, looking images of your creations. That one, and let's grab one from the other direction. Maybe like that. You can write a description. Uh, let's call it dev level world record 36.99 seconds. And I save that and I select the name and I call it princess. Uh, click save as. And now I can find it under here. If you start building in Norland or any other coming sandbox maps, then you will see all of those here. Uh, if I want to share this to the workshop, I can just click share and success. Uh, so now it's up there for any of you to try out and see if you can beat my time. So use these tools to create your own levels for main assembly.